Hi, my name's Jessica, and I have no idea what I'm doing. So what I do want to do today, I will show you the ColourPop Just My Luck palette, as well as the ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette. Um, I'm going to be honest, <laughs> I love I love ColourPop shadows, I do, but I just wanted this shade because <laughs> I don't have a matte mint that I, I don't have a matte mint and I knew I could trust this one because it's ColourPop so I literally bought this palette for that shade but it was only $12 so I mean that, that's fine right um, and this one I only bought for that shade honestly but that one I'm not well I haven't really tried it yet I've only swatched it which, by the way, let me give you some swatches. So I think today what I'm going to do is go with... Um, I want to use both of them. Like, I like purple and green together. <laughs> so I'm going to use both of them. Okay, so first we have... Chances are... That looks darker on there than it is in person. Kiss my ass... Okay, 50-50, Big Banks, and Mary Jane. There you go. Ooh, that's nice. Then we have All of You. Yes. Act Natural. Mo Bamba and Charmed. Should I go this way? Sure, that looks good. So here we have Kittenfish. We have Do or Do. Pretty Cruel. Bare, what is that? Bare minimum. Hmm, that didn't come out too much. And Earthshine. Then we have Chick Lit. Mm. Mr. Sandman. Fan fiction. Let's see what they did there. Oops, and a little bit of sleeper got down there, but there it is. So, when you look at the two together, don't those look nice together? I think so. <laughs> so I'm going to start with my fluffy brush, fluffy brush from Wish. It's a mouthful. And I'm going to start with Kittenfish, this color here. So, I guess I'll talk about the eyeshadow while I apply it. Here's my thing, right? I hate that I'm, like, being so, like, critical, but... These palettes, because of how I am and, like, all the colors that I enjoy, these palettes should be right up my alley. However, they're not. The, there is nothing wrong with the quality. The quality is fine. The quality is great. Um, it's the color selections that I'm not as happy with. I'm going to BH Cosmetics has a three on it and I'm, yeah, I'm gonna try out Pretty Cruel. It's got some pretty sparkle in it. Um, first of all, I'll start with the purple one, right? I am a blue purple person rather than a pink purple person and I feel like well you know I would have preferred blue purples or maybe a mix this is very pink purple and honestly it's it's more pink than purple I feel like the only two purples really are these 
this one, it, it depends. It depends on like what you put it with and like what. I know that looks purple. It's more of like a cranberry plum. I would have liked to see blue purples. And I mean, this is nice and all. It, it doesn't need to be here. <laughs> Neither does this one. To me, these are like brown, beige. And I just like purple. <laughs> I don't I don't need any neutrals. Um, I know I'm in the minority when I say that because everyone else likes neutrals thrown in to make things more wearable. To me, colors are wearable. You, you can definitely do it. Um, so now I'm going to go into Mobamba. I'm going to try and put that right in there. Oops, that's a lot. Oh well, we kind of covered things up. It's alright. Um, also, I would have liked, I know it's only a nine pan palette, but I would have liked to see um, a highlight shade in both, well, maybe at least in the purple one. Like, there could have been like a, like a pastel lilac or, a, or maybe a pastel pink in there. Maybe not in the green one, but in the green one, I feel like they could have replaced one of the darker mattes, because I feel like they're kind of similar. Like, there's not a lot of differentiation. Does that make sense? See, these two are kind of similar. I would have swapped one out, or maybe I would have made that one darker. This we don't need. <laughs> Is it a dark olive? It's very brown. To me, I don't I don't need that. Um, I love this one. But I feel like maybe something like this, but warmer. So like that way you could take it in a with a warm transition or this cool transition. And then um like a not so lime, so like a light, warm, shimmery green. So I would have liked to see more variety in here. But now that I basically tore those palettes apart, <laughs> um, I, I do like the quality. So this is Chick Lit, basically the one that I bought the purple palette for. And they're only $12 too, so if you want to add in just like a couple shades for a good price, you can. Am I even in frame? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't have as much shimmer as I want it to have. Now I'm gonna go with the lime green Mary Jane. I've heard people say that this one is like flakier, which is true, but that doesn't bother me. Hmm, that's kind of nice. Maybe I'll put some of 50-50. Ooh. To blend the two. And then I'll put some more of, oops, the chiclet shade. Maybe I'll go with a cooler lower lash line. Should I? Why not, right? I'm gonna go with Kiss My Hass. Nah, change my mind. I'm gonna go in with Big Banks. Okay. And I'm gonna put some of Mary Jane over here. Yes, very nice. Some of 
chiclet in the corner just to kind of make everything work together. Can you see that? Hopefully. And for a brow bone highlight, I'm going to use the Ouch Makeup Obsession Highlighter in Moon. Um, Soph does nails, made me buy it. <laughs> saw it, her use it, and it's just a really nice, cool-toned, kind of lilac color. If you have a cool skin tone and you like this type of thing, I would recommend this. I would pay the shipping <laughs> um, for this item alone. Alright, so actually I really like how that turned out. I was a little unsure. <laughs> um, but I like that a lot. So, alright, that's it for today. Uh, to anyone watching out there, if there's anyone watching out there, hope you have a good day. Bye.